So using this one HTML file, we're able to construct a table of contents in any way that we want uh, very quickly to match our structure. But this structure on the left goes according to alphabetical. But we want to put things, let's say, in a book that we're working on. Now we can. Let's say we want to click on the first file in the book. We hold down the control key on the keyboard and then left, left click the mouse. It opens up the script. We can put our mouse over the actual tab and right click. Go down to reveal and file explorer. You can see it opens up the folder shows us it comes from another, uh, well, our, our project folder here, uh, rather here, and in this project folder we have a C folder, JS folder, OS, uh, Python functions, uh, we have text file, and timing functions in Python. Now, the table of contents is only an HTML file, and we have it right here. Let's click on, let's say, the C language uh, file that we have here, for example. We hold down the control key, and left, left click our mouse. And as you can see, we have our function for get year and this is our C, uh, C file we can open up uh, text and JavaScript with the control key held down on the keyboard we left click as we can see, our JavaScript bookmark. So this makes editing all of our scripts very easy. They open uh, very easy, and we can organize everything in a very nice structure in the way that we logically place things. So we're not stuck with alphabetical. If for, if for some reason we want to rearrange it, that's fine. That's now exactly as we want it. So the person that's learning our lessons, you, you're going through it one at a time, now you get to click on each one. In the order that is logical, you know, logical to the person uh, in terms of the structure. So the idea here is we're, we're making code books and this is just an example uh, showing you, you know, the different files that we can open. But anything that is a, a, text, a text file, so any of the computer languages, anything that you're opening in VS Code, you can now make your own table of contents. So, I hope you guys have fun, and happy scripting.